Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome. And if you are back, mm -mm, kisses. So as you can see, for the first time in my channel, I have my sister. Hi guys. This is my sister Cindy. So we're gonna be doing the sister tag. We have the questions here. We recently saw Mimi Icon's video where she did the sister tag. They are known as the Luxie sisters and we got inspired to do this video. Um, so we are both fans of Mimi Icon and we both follow her, um, her YouTube channel. And from her channel, we came across the sister tag and we got inspired. So we actually copied down all the questions and those are the questions we're going to be doing now. We have a lot of questions, so let's get started. What do you like most about each other? Um, what do I like most? Um, I like that you're a very accepting person. You always keep an open mind when you're talking to people who are different than you. Um, yeah, I have a lot of things that I like. You're also creative. You're also just a very good person, but that would be one of my favorite things. Okay, so what I like about most about my sister is it's hard to pick just one because there's many things that I like about her, um, but um, she's very smart. Um, she's very well informed of many things happening in the world and she keeps me up to date with um, it could be politics or news or many things in general. So I like that about her. <clears throat> what do you fight about the most? I think we don't fight that often now. Um, I can't remember a time we fought in the last like year. Um, but when we were kids, we used to fight a lot about things regarding cleaning. So my sister is very organized and she likes things in a particular way. And she would blame me for little things like if she was missing a sock she would be like oh you're the one who has my sock silly little things like that yes i have to agree to that um we have disagreements up to this day but not like fights um not something like big but yeah when we were little we would fight about the smallest things what is your favorite childhood memory um, for me, it's always um, things regarding Guatemala, so we would always mm. go to Guatemala in the summers growing up yeah. and we would always just spend a lot of time together um, with friends from the neighborhood or in especially, I guess, um, just talking in the roof of my grandma's house. We would just talk about boys, we would talk about um, ghost stories, just everything, yeah. Yeah, I think just spending time in the summer in my mom's country, it was so different from living in the U.S., so I got to experience that other side. So yes, I would have to say that, just um, being in a different country, culture, where there's different foods and people, so that was a different experience, and I learned from that. What is one thing that annoys you about each other? You go first. Okay, I would have to say my sister not being careful at times. Um, and, th and this happened recently. I gave her my phone just for her to hold it for a few minutes. And the minute I gave her my phone, she dropped it. And I had never broken my phone, my, my cell phone screen. So yeah, that's one example. Well, I fixed it though. We went and fixed it the same day and I paid for it, so I took responsibility. Um, okay, my turn. Um, I guess I'm going, I'm going to go back to what we used to fight about as kids, which is the organizational um, characteristic that she has, where she wants things to be in a certain uh, way, uh, to put things in a certain way. Um, yeah, that would be that would be my thing. Growing up, were you jealous of each other? I wasn't jealous, but I was. I always thought that our parents gave you more attention than me. So my mom would bring home like gifts, um, and she would always give it to my sister first. I felt uh, that they had a favoritism towards her as a kid. 
And I thought the opposite because she was younger, I thought that they would prefer her. Oh, one thing that I remember is that everyone would compliment on her eyes. So I remember being a little girl and just thinking, I wish I had her eyes so that people would compliment or notice my eyes. I feel like we have the same eyes, so. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> And as a kid, I was actually kind of like scared about it. People would comment on it so much that I was thinking, oh my gosh, are my eyes strange? Do they have a problem? Are they too big? <laughs> what is the best thing you've ever done together? I think just traveling during the summer and having fun, playing games. Yeah, I would agree. One word to describe each other. Generous. Um, I'm thinking spiritual, I'm thinking creative, um, but one word, one word, I'll say creative. Um, creative because she's always looking into different books, different YouTubers, um, and she likes gathering inspiration and ideas from different um, sources, and I always, yeah, I always like uh, the people that she recommends in terms of um, spirituality or beauty or uh, self-improvement I always have like learned a lot from when she's given me things like that to look at and I would say generous because she's vegetarian and I think um, she's very caring about animals and um, thanks to her I went vegan and she's kind towards other people and she's very thoughtful and the way that she takes care of my daughter, that means a lot to me. What do you do for each other often? Well, I said that she's uh, kind of like a source of inspiration for me <clears throat> creatively. And um, what I try to do for, for her is to give that back whenever I see something that she would enjoy in particular. I would try to let her know about it. Recently, we went to a marketing workshop and um, I know she liked it. so. Um, when I first heard about it, I thought about her. Yeah, just sharing with each other about um, maybe it could be a YouTube video or, or an article that we find online or just going to events. Yeah, usually I think it's like things that are positive. Um, we both enjoy um, learning and growing in a positive way. So anything regarding that, we'll share with each other. Yeah. If you could switch lives with each other, would you? I mean, I'm happy with my life, but just to get a different perspective, um, yes, I would. Yeah, I think I would too. But um, yeah, I think it's like a, a healthy practice to look um, through other people's um, points of views. And since I love my sister, of course, I would want to like mm -hmm. understand her better by being her for a day. Do you have any other names for each other? My sister calls her Cookie. Well, not so much anymore, but oh, growing up yeah. she used to call her Cookie. And for me, what was it? No, but that was but our mom. mom. That was our mom yeah. for us. But, but for, for each, each other, each we other. don't have anything. Just Cindy. Oh, no, wait. Chichi? I would call her Chichi, you remember? No. Yeah, and I said, oh, where's my Chi-Chi? Uh -huh. Something oh, like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I would call her, where's my Chi-Chi? <laughs> yeah. Okay. But you, for me, you never no. had one. No, but I would tell her Chi-Chi. Okay, did you share the same room when you were younger? Yeah. We just um, shared half of the bedroom, so my side was mostly organized and her side was messy. I don't remember that. <laughs> I think I, I think my side was organized. I don't remember though. I remember having a lot of teddy bears. That's it. I had a whole collection of teddy bears and I thought that um, they would come to life at night so I had to treat them extra well because if not they were going to be mean to me. Aww. And I had a collection of T.Y. Beanie Babies. And I still have them. They're in the closet. <laughs> Who takes the longest to get ready? I think it, it depends. depends. Yeah. yeah, it goes back and forth. Like, depends where we are going. I mean, I could take five minutes if I don't apply any makeup, but if I know that I'm 
going somewhere special, then yes, I'm going to take longer for my makeup and hair. So I think it varies all the yeah, time. Yeah, I agree. What's your funniest memory together? Okay, for me, it's uh, actually going to my great-grandfather's um, house in Guatemala. Oh, I know which one. Yeah, and he had like a mini farm and we had to share a room. Um, so he was sleeping in the, in the couch in the living room and I was sleeping with my grandma. My sister was sleeping in another bed and then my cousin was also there. So um, it was like four beds in one bedroom. Or three beds. Or three beds, yeah. I think it was like three beds. Like one bed along one side of the room and then two beds on the other side It of was the a room. big room. Yeah. yeah, a big room. And we were just joking around. I think my sister started it and I just kept going along with it. And we were just uh, joking around and we started saying, oh, imagine if there's a whole bunch of roaches. And sure enough, a whole bunch of roaches, like we turned on a little bit of light and we started seeing roaches everywhere. And, you know, it's in the middle of like a farm, you know, there's like, um, you know, it's like, um, it's not the cleanest place, basically. So it makes sense. I mean, it was roaches. clean, but I guess they didn't mind the roaches. I don't know. Or they didn't use chemicals to, to kill the roaches. Um, I don't know. But for whatever reason, a whole bunch of roaches started popping out of everywhere and we both started freaking out but also just like laughing about it and my grandma the whole time was getting really angry. She was saying, oh, we have to go to sleep. If you don't go to sleep, then um, <laughs> the devil is going to come. <laughs> And <laughs> yeah, she she started seeing things like that just to scare us, um, but we just couldn't stop laughing. And I remember not being able to sleep that well the whole night, thinking <laughs> about it. Thinking about the roaches because we started killing them, especially my cousin. <laughs> I don't remember that part, but ew. <laughs> and he was using a chancleta. <laughs> chancleta um, would mean sandal. like a sandal. <laughs> But it's like a rubber sandal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that was funny. What's something crazy you did together but you didn't tell your parents? Not necessarily crazy, but I, I think just talking about boys or just our crushes. We talked about boys? Like if I had a crush on someone, I, I wouldn't tell my parents or my mom. I would go to my sister and tell her about when it. Why did you do that? Every time I date. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. When she was, when she was like starting to be like sixteen or or fifteen around that age. Yeah, talking about boys, we would do that. Um, yeah, our parents are not the kind of people you talk about boys with. They're just not. <laughs> when it was about dating, then yeah, we had each other to talk about that, but not something crazy. Yeah, we weren't. We were good kids. We're pretty. We never did anything too crazy. What's one thing you can never agree on? For me, again, it's like cleaning habits. Like my sister likes, for example, I like cleaning, uh, we have different habits in general. I like cleaning uh, dishes like immediately, but my sister kind of likes to keep them there. Um, but then my sister mm -hmm. will like yeah. Cause I like things. doing dishes like in the morning, afternoon, and nighttime, but not necessarily do them after I eat. What do you miss about each other when you're not together? For me, it would have to be spending time together, having someone to talk to in person. Like, yeah, we can text each other, but it's just not the same, or just going out in general, or going out to eat, like those simple things. Yeah, for me, it's um, also hanging out with each other and just knowing that I can be comfortable around my sister because, you know, she obviously knows me really well and she knows my serious side, she knows my silly side, so yeah, definitely just spending time together. <laughs> okay, so those were all the questions. We hope you have enjoyed this video and get to know a little bit more of us. And if you want to follow my sister, she has an Instagram account and you can find her there or her... In the link below. So you can find her there. I'm going to add her link. 
and thanks for watching as always and i'll see you next week take care bye, bye guys mm -mm. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Rosa. Oh, my God, which I can see. Aww. Thank you. Um, mm, 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 mm. No, it's a little bit of a Mishi. Okay. Mishi. Now I'm I'm like, oh my gosh, I look like a ghost. No. Here to the Okay. Okay, so that's it for it. Uh, okay, so that's all. No. So that's all. Uh. Take it out. <laughs> <laughs> this is the case I'm waiting. What happened? I don't know. There's a crocodile in your face. Oh, I had to burp, you know, I'm sad, you know, just Ew. like a time. <laughs>